What's going on guys? It's your boy Javon from JVTV Reacts and welcome back to yet another reaction. Guys, today in this video, I'll be reacting to the Graham Norton Show. Um, this is going to be a try not to laugh uh, that was sent in to me from one of you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, like Instagram is in the description or I may probably pop it up on the screen somewhere. But yeah, um, I had no idea who Graham Nor Norton is. Um... I believe he's a popular UK uh, talk show host. Um, probably has his own show, so <laughs> he has his own show. So honestly, I don't know what he does. I think he, I'm guessing he does interviews, and uh, he's a comedian because it's, it's a try not to laugh. So we're gonna see if I laugh today. You guys already know I'm not scared to let loose if something's funny or not. But um, let me put these headphones on, and uh, we're gonna see if we can have some laughs, man. Uh, Graham Norton show. Try not to laugh. And this is part one. If you guys want to see other parts, maybe I'll, we'll see how this goes. And don't answer this question if you don't want to, Patrick. Okay. But I have. I don't know why you brought that this up. Wait, like, that discuss. wheeze? Hold on. <laughs> was that laugh? Or was that wheeze? Hold on. And don't answer this question if you don't want to, Patrick. Okay. But I have. I don't know why you brought this up, but I did hear you discuss that you had that an extraordinary car. disagreement uh, with your wife oh. about yourself. Do you know That's, what I'm uh, what's about? the name from X? -Men? By myself, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yes. Listen, listen. I mean, you know um, this story. Hugh Jackman and uh, what's his uh, name well, again? Well, <laughs> one night, as you do, we were talking about stuff, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, I just had no interest. In, and of course, being circumcised, I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were chatting. They're married. They're married. They're allowed. Wait. And she That's said, not, "Is that you?" She said. You're not circumcised. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? You've only known me a few... I, I, all my life. I remember my mother telling me why, because it was fashionable at the time. She said, you're not circumcised. I said, that's ridiculous. I should know if I'm circumcised. Or not. <laughs> of course I am. End of conversation. But the next day, I happened to be seeing my doctor. <laughs> for... Are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> seeing my doctor for my annual physical of course so uh while he was down there <laughs> i said um, excuse me oh, oh by the way uh, irv um <laughs> the, my wife and i had a little disagreement am I, circumcised? Um, <clears throat> I i am circumcised <laughs> aren't i because she says i'm not and he goes <laughs> not <laughs> 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 I said, no, 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 it's impossible. So he looked down again and he said, hey, I'm Jewish. I know the difference. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is a bizarre story. Too much <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was that funny. Oh. <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> That laugh. <laughs> I got You're tears. You're going to have to change your Facebook status now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No more beef stew. <laughs> well, there's more beef stew. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Uh, Were you born in Hawaii? I wasn't born in Hawaii. I but was you live born there. in San Francisco, but I but did a lot of my growing up there. Yeah. So, yeah, I so it was, it was amazing. There. I don't know. I don't think. No. You told me. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, swore you said. I've known you for years. I've always said I was. Well, when we were town. there, you gave me a big speech like, "This is my land." I started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swore you told me. I feel like it just like Graham Norton's laugh. You know how some people have that contagious laugh. If they start laughing, all you want to do is just start laughing along with them, man. All of a sudden, San Fran. That was San Fran that I transferred. When we were there, you gave me a very, like, spiritual speech about how it all started. How your mother held you over this cliff. <laughs> this is a cliff where I was born, and my mother gave me. <laughs> this is the problem. Yes. You're trying to be respectful. Hawaii was beautiful. 
<laughs> beautiful, uh, you know, mountainside and lushness. And, and uh, we shot in this beautiful place called Kualoa Ranch where uh, uh, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park okay. was shot and the ones uh, after that as well. And it was just amazing. But you didn't like it, Kevin. He hated it. No, no this no, is no, the no. problem. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. I mean, outside of the, the spiritual grounds that you took me to. And I swore, you no, even I, sung I a song. I sound the rock is from there. We'll talk about it really? later. Well, yeah. well, yeah. The song, you were like, right. you were like, Kona Matana. <laughs> So did you bring your medals with you? No. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you might be wearing them. Oh, kind of. oh no, they're just casually in the back pocket. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we go, but... Look, these are proper, yeah. proper yeah. Olympic yeah. medals. Yeah. Wow. They're, they're, Marion, have you seen an Olympic it's medal? I actually <laughs> did. Yeah. So it's the French that beat us. <laughs> oh, was it French people the French, beat you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. the French got yeah. gold. Yeah. <laughs> To go so, him, boys. And, uh, is there anyone in Ireland who hasn't seen those medals? <laughs> they, look, they, look, they look like being round the block, those medals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. They're fairly tattered, yeah. And of course, uh, now, Michael, down in uh, Killarney, word must have reached you of the O'Donovan Brothers. Oh, for sure. I mean, I wasn't in Killarney at the time, but uh, everybody <laughs> knew about it. That's for sure, yeah. yeah. And uh, Marion, watching that clip, on the, could you understand the accents? Nothing, not a word. <laughs> I, underst I understood since. <laughs> Just that one. I was like, what the movie says with Michael with his tick carry accent. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guests are what really make this show. No, it is. <laughs> So listen, because uh, the people people love the interviews you did uh, during the Olympics. But like you guys knew you were being funny while you were doing the interviews. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it was funny because they were being themselves. Yeah. Right? Well, to be fair, we weren't trying well, we weren't to be serious, serious yeah. like, but yeah. it just, yeah. You did just kind of happened that way, like, You yeah. did seem very well, happy to be in Rio. I yeah. was quite serious about the whole situation, though. Every time we told us the truth, like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to understand, like, people ask us these questions all the time after races. It just so happened they put a camera in front of us in Rio. <laughs> You won a silver medal, so suddenly but everyone yeah, was yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. But, but this is, but the great thing is, this is like Ireland has never won any medal in rowing before, have they? Well, no, no it's the Olympics. Olympics. No, they have a few world championship yeah, titles, yeah. alright, but yeah. it's the, the first Olympic medal, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the interview where you talked about your approach to the race, uh, the phrases you used in that. So explain to the people what you what you said in that. Do you know which one? one? What yeah. did we About say? going A to B fast as you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Tis, a, tis a fairly simple sport, like. Tis a start line and a finish line. It's quite complicated here, like. Come on, people do complicated, like. And you, <laughs> yeah. you want, your men says go at the start and there's a hooter at the finish, and if you can get the, <laughs> go <laughs> to the hooter, then. Okay. Go bullshit, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and tragically, Project. this is based on your life. I mean, this is things. Yeah, but. I mean. <laughs> Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. What? The, the washing, you were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go on, tell Tony Foster that story. I, 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 All that story's point. really cool, this... though, Graham. When I was <laughs> teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back. And while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back. And on, the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry. And then the next day, I went into school. I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway, I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> I got mixed up in the wash she'd done, and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is, this is such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then... Yeah, they able to the cut the TV booze, <laughs> The curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> oh, my God. So I... I, I did, like, a faecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> And I started, I started going, oh, God, not this, not this as well. Oh, Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly. <laughs> 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 a lot of young actors, they, you know, they revere. So, uh, uh, so, so far what I'm gathering, man, Graham or, or Graham, or Graham, or Graham, uh, he brings up, he let his guests be the star of his show. Uh, he brings up, like, the comedic side of his guests, of what I'm seeing so far, and not many interviewers or hosts are able to do that. You know, usually they're the only ones who are um, telling all the jokes and, you know, it'd be awkward, but everybody that I've seen opt on this show so far just been, it's just been good vibes, you know, all laughs. Um, so, yeah, for him to bring out that side <laughs> to them, man, and it'll get people to tell stories or things that they've been through and, you know, make make a joke about it. Uh, that's, that's good. That's good. Hear you, so they, they look to you. But the other thing you inspire is impressions, people doing impressions. Now, when people do impressions of you, is it like sort of nails on a chalkboard? He has a lot of legendary board, guests on the show. Do you kind of enjoy it? No, I, I kind of enjoy it, especially if they do it well. <laughs> uh, so, no, I, I, it's, it's great. It's, it's, I love it. I only ask! <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because uh, any Hiddlestoners watching will know, uh, Tom Hiddleston does impressions. You do impressions lots of people. So who is in your canon? <laughs> it's a it's a expression of admiration, just to be clear. Um, yeah. So I do I do uh, <laughs> impressions of people that I, I admire and I sort of listen to them. I, I get the first time I did an impression um, that anyone was aware of. I was just telling a story about Midnight in Paris, the Woody Allen film I was in, and how I never read the whole script and I and I thought it was set in the twenties, and. Um, I turned up and I bumped into Owen Wilson, who didn't look like he was in the 20s at all. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I said to him, I said, so wait, hang on, who are you playing? Because I'm playing F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I know Corey Stoll's playing Ernest Hemingway, and we're all playing figures of history. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, it's kind of it's cool, and it's kind of woody, and you just kind of, it's kind of awesome. Uh, <laughs> hey, good. Yeah. But, uh, I've done, I've done, I mean, I've been made to do impressions of my fellow Avengers. Um, uh, I think everyone does an impression of Christopher Walken because he's just, he's such an easy kind of... <laughs> you know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. Uh, it depends on what you like me to say. <laughs> Basically, there's no... Punctuation. <laughs> Anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I know whole pages of heat. Oh, you surprise me. <laughs> so I, there's this, there's a scene in the middle of the film which you'll be familiar with. You were there. <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> <laughs> he, he remembers. You're very good at this. He game. remembers. Yeah. There's a scene in the, in the middle of the film which is because uh, because uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. <laughs> Sorry, He's right there. They're, they're, they're separated like a great thriller. They're separated from for the entire film and they meet twice. Once at the end and once in the middle. And it takes place at a restaurant in LA. It's a great scene. It's one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch. There it is. It's, there's a picture of it. It's like a, it's a mutual recognition of each other. Anyway, so there's a bit where they, ha like, they sit and have coffee and have tea and talk about stuff. I'm going on, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Al Pacino at one point, Al, Al Pacino says this, he goes, uh, So. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do. I do what I gotta do. If I'm there, and I gotta put you away, 
I don't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, you know it's good when nobody near it. Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is so, this is so meta. <laughs> I feel like I've gone into a parallel universe where um, I, 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 I... You're playing all these parts. Yes, I played. Yeah, his love. Yeah. 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 I did an impression of Ken Branagh. That was my favourite scene. Was movie. it your favourite scene? Yeah. It's a Still? Great... Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but my favourite scene that was written before, yeah. not because of or doing it, but I just, my favourite scene written in the yeah. film. You know, that... That's it's a great it's piece great. of writing. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. it feels like it plays in two in two singles in a way. Like yeah, it just, yeah, and it, yeah. And it's it's like a, the most beautiful game of tennis. Did you uh, each yeah. do lots of takes? Did you do lots of takes? I forget or? how many takes we did. I don't think we did more than five to eight or nine at the yeah. most. Maybe maybe less. I, and you talk about your dreams and you talk about your life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so oh, great. It's so great. There's that bit, another bit where you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you say, he says, uh, he says, uh, Pacino says, so you never wanted a regular type life. <laughs> and, and, uh, Bob, may I call you Bob? Yeah. You. Uh, <laughs> Bob says, um, what's that, barbecues and ball games? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, your, your mother loves you because you're her daughter. <laughs> yeah. But she is actually a sort of a fan as well. No, it's not. Way. It's not quite that. It's um, well, uh, no, I'm sure she is. Oh goodness, right. Yeah. So, my uh, uh, one day, my mum came to set on the Star Wars set, uh, and I was getting this thing called cyber scanned, which is where you stand in this kind of loads of cameras, and they kind of take your form and put you into a computer and make a toy or a, some sort of merchandise or your face on a cushion. <laughs> um, and so I go off and do this and I come back and Mum's like, I've made a great friend. And I'm like, brilliant, it's lovely, excellent. <laughs> and uh, she's like, it's the merchandise, you know, director of all of Star Wars or something. And I'm like, wow, well, it's very impressive. Um, and then before I know it, what comes in the post um, is loads of cushions <laughs> with um, my face on it. <laughs> so my own mum, she gets to see it a fair amount, you know. But apparently it's not enough. So uh, <laughs> I was kind of blown away at how much merchandise there is. Yes, it's but really, also, and it's not also, even, I mean, it's just the beginning. It was like the pre-merchandise. Not even the real stuff is out yet. And my mum <laughs> has all of it. And but doesn't know about the doll yet. So we'll also, this is so weird. I don't know, oh, is this man. in your flat or her house? Oh, God, no. this oh, right, okay, so basically, she thought it would be really funny if I came home and it was everywhere in my <laughs> Okay, so this is, oh, no. this is, this is Amelia's actual bedroom. Well, the... <laughs> <laughs> Joke, and then, and then, oh, oh, and then, oh my goodness! And we found the photo, but it's not like that now. That there is another true. reason why I'm you single. Took a first date back to that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> come on in. Yeah. <laughs> they would be like, damn, this girl's full of herself. <laughs> I don't have a CV. I just have a bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> but this is cool, though. So your mother, a big fan, yeah. but. Brad Pitt, also oh, a very big fan. That was the best night of my life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell the story quickly. <laughs> tell the story quickly. Is there an Amelia duvet? Yeah, there's a duvet. We're all ears. <laughs> Sheets, slippers. Uh, no, yeah, there was this auction thing that happened, and um, I, someone, they called me and said, "Would you, you know, do you want to, do you want to um, auction something off, like maybe sort of an experience?" watching the show with you or something. And I was like, okay, it's lovely, it's great for charity. Yeah. It'll be for some, you know, the, some something. Yeah. And it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so I get there and it's, it's basic. Thing. It'll a be good a good thing. thing. Yeah. 
Um, I get there and it's basically like this, it's basically, you know, it's the Oscars, like there's so many celebrities in this room and I suddenly remember that I said that I would auction something off and so the fear grows. <laughs> so I was petrified, absolutely petrified and then um, the, the person whose table I was on is a friend and he was being very kind and kind of put the paddle up and I was like, thanks very much. That's very sweet, that'll be that. Uh, and then someone else's paddle up went up across the other side of the room and I didn't really know. And then suddenly it was sort of becoming a, a bit of money and I was kind of thinking, oh, this is absolutely mental. And someone went, it's Brad Pitt. And I was like, <gasps> lol. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I look over uh, to the room and he's got his paddle up. Brad's paddle. Brad's paddle. <laughs> <laughs> is it <laughs> No, oh. not quite. Well, it didn't work out because the person whose friend who's, was my friend, I think it was probably all set up, the person who's, who was my friend ended up, you know, doing the highest bid. But, um, Boom! Uh, that friend! friend. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just kind of looked over with just the most insane emoji heart eyes being like, this is just the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was... I was just into that. Uh, but yeah, guys, this was uh, the Graham Norton show. Um, a lot to take away from this. He definitely, first of all, he has some big names on his shows. Um, I guess it's most of, uh, it's like a, actually diverse because like it's mostly actors. But then again, you know, there was uh, the duo from the I Irish team that made the Olympics. So he has like a wider range of, wide array of, of different guests on his show. Um, I think what really uh, makes him stand out from different hosts that I've seen so far is that not only does he let his guests um, tell their old story, you know, he he, he brings that, like, he, he would, like, like push them to, like, he already knows all the juicy details, so he was just, like, you know, he would push them to, to tell it in, like, a super funny way and make it, like, you know, funny, you know, some, some of these people, like, they're embarrassed about the situation, but he's able to make them, you know, not only retell the story, but feeling comfortable to do so. And make it so that they, you know they're able to laugh along with it, um, but yeah, I definitely had some laughs on this one. Some of the references I didn't really get, so I didn't like I wasn't laughing. Um, but yeah, but some of them, man, it's just like the guests that telling their telling their stories, um, pretty funny to me in my opinion. But yeah, this was part one. Try not to laugh. Oh, this was a challenge. Damn. I forgot that this was a try not to laugh challenge. Hey guys, I feel the challenge. Um, my bad, man. You know, <laughs> but yeah, maybe on part two, I actually try not to laugh. We see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Hit that notification bell. Um, leave more suggestions down below, or hit me up on Instagram. Send me a link on Instagram of what you like me to react to on this channel. This channel is all subscriber based, so whatever you guys want me to check out, I'm gonna check it out. Um, but yeah, I catch you guys in the next one, man. It's been your boy Jay. Peace.